So, you've got yourself a tramper truck. Uh, maybe you want to strip it down, change the springs for elastos, change the bushings, service the trucks, any of those things. Uh, I want to show you how to strip one of these trucks down and rebuild it from scratch. So this is Scott's truck and as you can see it's looking pretty gnarly, uh, a bit grubby. It's been on the board for a while, it's done many many miles. Scott wants the springs changing for elastomer dampers or elastomer dampers should I say. And, uh, and actually in here you can see that uh, there is no bushing anymore in between a hanger and the king pin so it's squeaking. And yeah it just needs a bit of a service really so I'm going to show you how to strip this down completely and install elastomer dampers, change the bushings and then rebuild it. Right then guys, first things first, we've got to get the springs out of the trucks, so let me show you how you do that. Right, okay, first things first, um, these things at the top here are adjusters for the dampers. You can make the springs uh, more or less damping, so you can make them sort of harder or looser to turn with. We're going to remove those. If you've got a set of Vera hex keys, it's the yellow one. You just spin those off. And they're going to come out quite easily. So they come out. Now you have to be careful with springs, guys, because they hold a lot of tension and, and this space plate is under tension. So we have to be really careful when working with this spring. But what we're going to do is we're going to use a G clamp, Irwin. Quick grips is what I use, and we're gonna pick a side. Let's choose this one. And we're gonna apply pressure to the hanger. Right, guys, as you can see, this is now under pressure. That spring has a lot of tension on it, so be very careful. This spring now has no tension on it. So what we can do, we can just free it from there. And then all we need to do is remove this bolt here. Try to do it one-handed. And there we go, one spring. Now if you want to change the damper, maybe that's why you're taking this apart. Now you would take off the retainer at the bottom, pull the damper out. Now you can change the damper for a different colour, whatever you want. We're not changing the dampers, so we're going to put that there. And now we're going to release the tension on this and it's going to spring. Now we just repeat the same on this side, removing that bottom bolt. Cool. Right, there we go, springs are off, and you can see here how much play there is, because there's just nothing left of these bushings really, so if you hear squeak from your truck, it's because this kingpin is rubbing on the hanger, and that's what Scott's been getting on his front hanger, so we're going to remove this kingpin now. Right, now we have the kingpin free, washer there, nut and washer this end. The base plate is free with its bushings in. And the hanger also has its bushings in. These just pop out like a top hat. And as you can see, look, this one's pretty gnarly. And there's none in the other one. Same with these ones. Seeing as they're coming out anyway, I just like to use a tool like this print removal tool, pull them out. These aren't too bad, but they're all gonna be replaced anyway. They're all, they're all old. Right guys, when you are replacing these from Tramper, you need to measure this brim of the top hat, if that's what you wanna call it, you need to measure the width of that. Because Tramper stuff is all made with different tolerances, depending on when it was made and how it was made, they all slightly differ, and these bushings take the gap up, so. We need to measure these and I've calculated that my brim is 2.5 millimeters and I've measured it's 2.5 millimeters on all of them and I've got a bag of 2.5 millimeter bushings from Tramper and we're going to install them right now. Before I do that though it's time to give this a clean so I'll be back in a second with a clean base plate. And there we go guys it's amazing what a bit of elbow grease can do 
just a bit of washing up liquid on a sponge um, and five minutes in the sink and they're both brand new. A few hits on there. Scott uses his board which is nice to see, well done Scott. But uh, other than that these are in good condition and are fine to carry on using for the build. So let's get some new bushings in here. Now one of the things I like to do and I can hear a collective gasp from the audience as I do this is I like to use a little bit of lithium grease on the bushings it just helps everything along nicely so I just smear a bit of grease on here right it's supposed to be tight guys that's the aim of the game there we go that's that done same with the hanger. Now we've got fresh bushings installed in both of these and if we got these measurements right this hanger should be a little bit tricky to get on. But that should be a tight fit between the uh, base plate and the bushing on the hanger both sides and it is it's a nice tight fit so that's all good. Right, time to install the kingpin. Kingpin is fairly easy. Kingpin, big washer, and the bolt side goes through here. You want to have this lined up as best as you can. The aim of the game here is to get this in as straight as possible and not destroy the new bushings. Right, dude, you always get this when you've hammered the kingpin through, the bushing starts uh, rising up out of the other side. Just put the washer and the nut on, and then when we tighten this whole assembly, that's going to sort that out. Hi! <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know. Right, there we go guys, that is now in and tight, and there's no slack. It's uh, all moving lovely and free. And yeah, look, there we go. That's perfect, that's how it should be. One of the things that Scott wants me to change on his board is he wants me to go from springs, or he wants to go from springs, to elastomer dampers. Now these are two completely different things and they behave completely differently. With a spring, any little compression of that spring, it wants to oppose it and return back to this shape. With a piece of rubber like this, little undulations, little springiness, this is not gonna react, it's gonna act like a solid piece of rubber. But when you bend, when you turn on it, it will bend when you apply big forces to it, whereas this reacts to every little force. And what that translates to is when you are going fast, high speed, the springs will be chattering basically with all the little undulations where the elastos will be solid. And that gives you high speed stability. But these will compress under turning forces so you still get that turning ability like you do with the springs but you don't get the high speed chattering. So they do offer quite a lot of advantages. I'm running them on my board on the front only at the minute and I will put them on the rear. Scott wants them on both his trucks. Now he has the luxury of choosing an inner and an outer position on the base plate here. And I recommend that for the front truck you use the inner position and for the rear truck you use the outer position. When you buy the kit from Tramper, there's a few other things extra in here that aren't part of the Elasto kit. It's just what Scott sent over. You get your rubber and you get these little packages. These are the end pieces for the rubber that allow you to screw them into the trucks. They're just little bits of CNC metal and they look like that. So that is your end piece. It just goes into the rubber like that. Flip it over. Next one. Ah, now you can fasten this into the truck like you would a spring. Here's another I made earlier. Tramper also send you some hardware. So they send you these for the bottom and these for the top with some washers. And I think you double wash, it seems to remember you double washer these. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, let's get these on the truck. Right, okay, so first things first, 
these, it doesn't matter which way around these go. And installation is the reverse of removal. Now these bolts that go in the bottom need to be Loctited with Loctite 243 guys, very important. If you don't Loctite these, you will lose them. Tighten them up, there's one. And then all you do, you bend the truck over. Right, so with that first one installed, let's get the grippers. We probably don't need a, the big one for this, we we'll probably just use a small one. And let's compress that. We get the other one in. There we go. And with them both in, release the pressure. Right, let's get the other bottom bolt in. Not a big fan of the um, pre-applied Loctite, so I always put my own on anyway. And there we go guys, both trucks are running elastic dampers now. Uh, springs are gone. Scott's gonna find that a lot more stable. Uh, I think he's gonna enjoy that in London. And yeah, well, we're ready to go really. Put these trucks back on the board and let's start making a tramper again really.